what do you do when you're trying to drill a hole and you're really pushing on that handle and that drill does not cut? You have two options. You either go buy a new drill or we sharpen it. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a drill. Welcome to a 4x4 Fab Shop. All right, so let's talk about the tip geometry real quick before we start grinding. Your standard drill point tip. Across here. Is 118 degrees. And that varies depending on the information you look up between 118 and 135 degrees. And you can sharpen these on about anything. You can use disc sander, grinder, 90 degree die grinders. It really depends on what you're comfortable with. Once you get to doing this, you'll sharpen them about just about anything. You don't have to run out and get a three or four hundred dollar drill bit sharpener. Just a couple things we need to look for. Something that comes in really handy is this drill point gauge and it's made to check for center on your drill point to make sure that the point is in the center of the drill that allow you to check your angle and check the center point of the drill. Now, if you don't have that, you can just use your basic protractor. Just set it on, just set it on 59 degrees, and it'll be easier on the back. You could put a small mark on the tip, and that way, when you rotate it, that you hit the same spot both times, and you can check the angle. So, when we hold the drill, it's not flat. We're going to hold it up about 10 or 15 degrees, and over so that this angle is flat on the on the grinding wheel or whatever you're grinding with and this leading edge right here has got to be horizontal right so it'll be in this fashion and then just imagine that you got a bowl and you're just going to roll it through right because when you're sharpening you don't want the back side of this drill to hit if this is flat as it cuts, you'll rub on the back side. So as you grind, you'll just roll it out. Right? So let me show you on the grinder. We're going to use this little six inch disc sander that we got from Harbor Freight to sharpen this drill. And the one thing I would get also is if you're going to do a lot of grinding, just get a little thing of water. A little paint cap or something like this you don't need much so just like we talked about I'm gonna drop it back about 10 to 15 degrees so that I'm grinding a good point on here and this leading edge right here is going to be horizontal I don't I don't want it up or down I need that horizontal so that I can roll it out all right so we're just gonna hold it on here Roll it out. And rotate it. Try to keep your hand in about the same spot. Roll it out. No water. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to check and make sure that we're on track with the angle. So that center point's at 8. And that center point's a little bit low, which is fine. I'm going to look at the point and see where, they, where I'm grinding it.
Now let's see how we're doing. You like my angle is good? I'm around eight. Okay, I'm a little heavy on the one side, so we're just going to dress the one side a little bit more. And it doesn't take much. So we're at eight. And we're at eight. Now, cutting RPM is something that's very important also. We'll cover that on other videos. Because if you got the wrong RPM, you'll doll a drill real fast too. All right, here we go. Looks like it's got good chips coming off of it now. What I'm looking at is how that curl looks. Looks like it's running a good curl when it comes off. It's really not hot. And I also, when I sharpen, I look inside the hole and see, does it look like it's just being scraped or does it look like it's being cut? Let's finish drilling this hole. Now I'm just drilling some hot roll steel. Stop every now and then, break the chip. It's gonna break through. Here we go. All right, I used to have a boss always run up to you with a drill in his hand and say, don't worry, it's just a drill. All right, so a couple things to look for after you're, you're done. Just go through and inspect the edges on them. Make sure they're good. If you see an edge starting to turn blue, so go through and inspect the edges. If you see an edge starting to turn blue, well, that means it's probably not sharp in that area. Now, granted, this is going to change with the quality of drill you got. So it's all going to change by the quality of the drill. And I'll throw some links up here for some good quality drills. But you can sharpen all your drills on just about anything. All right, so just remember your basic geometry, your 118 to 135 degrees. Typically 135 degrees they use for harder, higher chrome materials. And a lot of times in wood, they'll actually go less than 118 degrees. But for steels, start at 118. So remember when you hold it up to the grinder, you want this leading edge fairly horizontal. And you're going to just roll it out. Alright, so I hope this has helped you. You can sharpen on just about anything. You can sharpen on die grinders. I've sharpened on snag grinders. Once you get used to setting your point, it becomes very easy and you don't need a lot of expensive equipment. And if you want some help on anything else like welding or tube bending or anything like that, I'll see you in one of these other videos that'll pop up here. This has been another edition of 4x4 Fab Shop. I'll see you in the next video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.